What is a hex map? Hex map is an alternative mapping technique that uses shapes such as hexagons as a representation of map features such as states. What you're looking at here is a hex map of the United States, including a few provinces from Canada. You can see by the label that each of the 50 states are included, as well as British Columbia, Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec. Before we jump right in and learn how to create a hex map, let's take a look at why you may want to incorporate a hex map into your next dashboard. First reason you may want to look at using a hex map is an efficient use of real estate. Real estate is scarce and you want to make sure you make the best use of every square inch of your dashboard as you tell your story. Comparing the two images on the top and the bottom of a traditional filled map in Tableau and the alternative hex map below, if we zoom out and include Alaska and Hawaii, you'll see Alaska's up here, Hawaii's way off the coast, and by comparison we have Alaska and Hawaii, which we can position anywhere we want, which makes it a little easier to navigate a, a much more efficient use of the real estate on the page. One of the things that data visualization does is it takes advantage of pre-attentive attributes, size, color, etc. And you can see by the filled map on the top that California is much larger than some of these smaller New England states. And when we look at a map which is showing ski resorts, uh, we can see that Quebec has three resorts, the size of each state can be misleading. So if we're comparing California to something like Rhode Island or New Jersey, our mind can very quickly make assumptions based on the size of those states that are inaccurate, quite frankly. Comparing that to the bottom, you can see Vermont and California are the same size on the representation, and what we are drawn to is the color in this visualization, not the size of each one of those states. The third and final thing we're going to talk about today with hex maps is using it as a filter. One of the things that a good visualization does is it draws the user in to gain more insight. Filtering is a way to do that, and just as we can with a traditional filled map, we can select a state, Utah for example, and it will filter the data. We can use dashboard actions or simply check on our dashboard that we want to use that as a filter. Now that we have a better understanding of exactly what a hex map is and why we may want to incorporate it into our next project, let's take a look at what it takes to put one together. First thing we need is a data source that contains all of the information for the hex map. What are the critical elements? We want a row and a column location for each of the states we're going to use. We've also thrown in an abbreviation that we will use to show what state it is on the visualization as we show our label. Uh, in addition, we have a country, USA and Canada. We're using that field to link on our other data source, which, which contains the detail behind the ski resorts and the snowfall data. Once we have that information, we bring that data source into Tableau. Let's start building. We have our columns. Let's put columns on columns, rows on rows, once we have columns and rows in our visualization, we need to add detail, which is state. Now that we have our states plotted on our column and row grid, next thing we wanna do is add an annotation on our label, which state are we looking at? A little formatting. Since this is a hex map, I've gone ahead and I have downloaded a hexagon shape from the internet and added it to my shapes palette. I've thrown it under my manufacturing folder. Let's set that. And now we have a hexagon, let's make that a little bigger, that shows all of the states, including DC, Hawaii, Alaska, and select provinces in Canada. Now that you've got an understanding of what a hex map is, why you might want to use one in your next visualization, and how to put one together, let's take a look at a hex map in action. In review, the three things we talked about were efficient use of real estate. As you can see here, on the upper left hand side, we have our hex map, which does not take up much room on our visualization and leaves plenty of room for our viewers to interact and dig deeper into the viz. We also talked about the pre-attentive attributes of size and color. Looking at this visualization, it is colored by number of resorts in each state. Hovering over California, you can see we have 16 resorts. 
Vermont has nine resorts. Both of those states, one of them's big, one of them's small, are pretty densely packed with ski resorts. Using color as the pre-attentive attribute really sets the stage rather than trying to find some of the small states in our visualization. Third and final thing we talked about was filtering. This is an interactive filter. We can select any of these states, Utah for example, and it will filter the data set and show only resorts for that state. Well, I hope you found this segment on hex maps useful and maybe you'll think about incorporating one into your next visualization. A word of caution, you don't want to rely too heavily on hex maps and use them all the time, but there are certainly times in use cases where using a hex map would be a preferred method over another method of showing detail on a map. Again, this is Bruce from False Peak Ventures. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting new content regularly. I appreciate your help, support, have a great day. Oh.